Hey everyone, I'm Justin with AmericanMuscle.com and today I'm taking a closer look at and installing these S550 Euro V2 taillights with the smoke lenses available for all 2015 through 2023 Mustangs. Now you guys should be considering the V2s for your S550 if stock just isn't your thing and you'd like to go with a very wild looking pair of lights that will deliver an aggressive smoked appearance but at the same time a very unique three-dimensional design to the lights themselves. Now, biggest features here with the V2s will be that massive departure from the stock tail lights in just about every single way. But first up, let's talk appearance. I would say next to the Raxium Halos or the Raxium Profile tail lights, these would probably be one of the most out there in regards to styling. And I don't mean that in a bad way. I just simply mean these are gonna be for the owners who prefer more of that aftermarket appearance. Now you are getting a little bit of that Euro look here or Euro styling with the clear lenses with a light smoked appearance going on. But outside of that, the design of the tri-bar lights is just totally unique. Now those bars are gonna be made up of kind of these interlocking diffused LED bars. And if you look even closer, there's five individual clear LED bars in the middle of the white portion here. And that does really make quite a statement with the lights on or off. Um, these do still maintain your sequential functionality for the turn signals, which I know a lot of owners will be happy to hear. But again, going back to the actual design, very wild in appearance and very unique with both the lights on or off. Now, construction is gonna be similar to the factory taillights in a lot of ways, including the molded ABS plastic housings in black. And then you do have the more angled polycarbonate lenses. And what I mean by that is it's similar to what you might find with the 2018 through 2023 tails, as opposed to the 2015 through 2017 options. Now those angled tri bars are given a smoked clear treatment. So yes, you're getting a touch of that Euro look as we mentioned earlier, but I think a little bit more aggressive at the end of the day compared to just a plain old clear lens, which by the way, uh, these are available in just a plain clear lens if you'd like, really does show off the internals a lot more than the smoked options. Now, I will say here guys, um, beneath the smoked polycarbonate lens, the assortment of LED lighting, you are getting the white diffused bars like we talked about, the five individual kind of ice cube looking things in the middle there. All of that is LED, all of it is going to illuminate in bright red and that will keep the DOT legality in check. Now finally, the V2 tails do feature a very simple plug and play install, which we will touch on more here in a minute. Now, your price point for the smoked V2 tails here will hover around that low to mid $700 price point here, guys. Certainly does make these one of the higher priced aftermarket taillight options on the site at the time of this video. Now, if you did simply just wanna maybe go with a Euro look, but you really like the smoke look at the same time and you wanted to save some money, well, you could always check out the Renegade series sequential taillights. Um, they certainly deliver a similar look without all of the wild stuff going on in the tri bar. Uh, and those will be a little bit more factory inspired at the end of the day compared to the V2s. But now let's shift gears and talk more about the installation and the site is gonna correctly call this a pretty soft one out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter, taking me about 20 minutes to complete from start to finish. Again, this is a plug and play job. There's simply, you know, three bolts or nuts, I should say, holding on the factory taillights. You remove those, unplug everything, reinstall in reverse order, and that's pretty much it, guys. Very, very simple stuff. And to prove that to you, we're gonna throw it out to the guys in the shop right now for a quick detailed walkthrough and tool breakdown. Check it out. The tools you'll need for this project are a ratchet, a 10 millimeter socket, and a trim removal tool. Hi everyone, today we're installing a set of taillights on our Mustang, but first, let's watch a short video on how to uninstall the stock taillights. All right, we're gonna start off by first popping the trunk to gain access to the inner panels here. All right, we're gonna first start off by getting our liner out of the way there, and then we're gonna remove the four plastic nuts holding the back plastic on. Two over here as well. Set these to the side. All right, now I have a push pin removal tool 
there are two Christmas tree clips that you have to remove. There's one here, and there's one right on the other side. Now we can peel back our liner to expose our wiring harness right here. And then we have to get this 10 millimeter nut off that stud right there. So you have to get this 10 millimeter nut, and then these two, those are the only three holding in the tail light housing. All right, the first thing I'm gonna do is unplug this tail light, and then take my 10 millimeter socket. I am using a deep socket. Start loosening up this nut until it's finger tight, and you can back it off the rest of the way. Hold on to this hardware, you will be reusing it. Now there are two more up here as well. All right, we're gonna repeat that on the other side as well. All right, now with your wiring and your three nuts removed, we can now pull straight back on our taillight assembly. Now there's gonna be a grommet right here. To hold your wiring harness in place, peel back that, and bring back your plug. That's right, the same step for this side as well, pull straight back. Take your grommet out, as well as your plug. To install our new lights is basically a reversal of the uninstall process. The only difference this time will be that they do supply new nuts to go on the back side to secure it to the vehicle. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is feed our connector in through the grommet hole and then install the grommet. Make sure that that's locked into place. And then we'll go ahead and position our light and slide it into place. Now, once we've got the light in, we can go ahead and attach our nuts to the back. So we'll go ahead and install the supplied nut on our two outer studs here. And then we'll get the one on the inside. It's a little difficult to see. All right, once we've got them started, then we go ahead and tighten them down with our 10 millimeter socket. Then we'll go ahead and connect our light connector to our vehicle harness. Make sure it snaps into place. Now we'll go ahead and install our push pin for the trim. And now you can repeat that whole process for the other side. Now with our lights installed and connected, we can go ahead and reinstall our trunk trim piece. We'll just set that down in place, line up the clips. Now we'll install our retaining knobs. And you can do the same thing for the other side and then slide your lower piece back into place. And that wraps up our review and install of the S550 Euros V2 LED taillights with the black housing and smoke lens for your 15 to 23 Mustang. Thanks for watching and remember, for all things Mustang, keep it right here at AmericanMuscle.com.